CTRM technical analysis, fundamental statistics, along with reviewing my current positions and the price starting. Starting off with the price action, guys, I did take up a position in the stock, 269 shares. Very small position for me, but I am down big right now. Obviously, K okay, full transparency. No one else will do you that. No one else will show you their losses. Literally, I don't know anyone except maybe trades trades that will show you their losses on YouTube. No one. Okay. I could be wrong though. Okay, of course. I'm down 12%. I'm down $40. Okay, this is not what you want to see, obviously. Okay. But I'm not worried. And I'm, I'm not panicked. Selling. I'm holding all of my shares. I will continue to hold them even if we dip all the way to this ascending level of support. Okay, let's talk about entry points. Your first entry point is going to be on this 50% retracement level, sitting at roughly $1.08. If we break that, probably pretty unlikely in my opinion that we break that. But if the markets dump, anything is possible. Okay, we will all slowly die if the market crashes. But if you have this, actually, you will benefit a little bit, right? Everything else is down today almost. Bionan is killing me, right? Microvision to ADTC, right? This stock is, is benefiting, kind of saving my portfolio in the day, right? Okay, but if we do if we do dump below this, okay, this is your level, okay? 99 cents, 98 cents. But personally, guys, I don't see the stock going below a dollar because there's going to be a thousand, maybe millions of buy orders and shares being traded on that one dollar mark precisely. So I would recommend putting your buy limit order if you're trying to catch this ascending level. I would recommend putting it on the one dollar or one dollar and one cent range all the way up to the tomorrow to today's close i mean you're gonna be sitting at like one dollar and one cents pretty much uh, practically okay also guys if you may be wondering what is this okay this is a price target this is how we draw the price target off the bull pennant here's the flagpole here's the flag this is the price target over two dollars yeah over two dollars okay it's not guaranteed it's not guaranteed to happen tomorrow um it's not guaranteed to happen at all, but this is the price target and bull pennants. Obviously, they are bullish and they do break to the upside more times than not. We have cooled off roughly 50% from this $2 uh, range, these highs right here. And we are extremely oversold on the RSI, obviously 33 on the hourly. Daily is a little skewed. Okay, we're not even overbought. I mean, we're not even neutral or oversold. We're actually on the overbought side on the daily. But look, this is why, okay, it's a skewed measurement. Short term, it's a very skewed measurement, okay? We've cooled down a lot. This stock has a ton of potential and people are realizing that now. That is why I did establish a small position in this. It was a, it, had, it was a great opportunity. I bought it roughly on this, on this Fibonacci level. It, we did break, obviously. Okay. But this is a great opportunity for anyone who did not get in on the stock. This is an amazing opportunity. Okay. Um, taking a look at the bands. This is actually a bullish, uh, well, not sure, long term, medium term bullish, uh, indicator, in my opinion. Okay. These, these bands are hooking in and become the distance between them is becoming shorter. This means decreased volatility. And this is, this means it is more likely to just stay within this little range right here. And based on the, the broader, uh, chart pattern, we are in a bull pennant and the, we are going to be tightening up as far as price action in the next couple of days. This, this these bands basically, Give me more evidence to think that that is going to happen. Okay. That gives me more evidence to think that if we do drop here, there's a, there's an extremely low chance that we will actually break this. There's, a, there's a low chance that we will even break this. Okay. There's a chance if the market's dump, it's probably, it's probably a real chance, like a, like a sizable chance that we break this. Okay. That's what we're looking at. Let's take a look at some fundamental statistics. Okay. Institutional ownership according to Fento.io, 2%. That's what we're looking at. Okay. That's not very bullish. Actually, you may be wondering why did they even show you that? This is why. Okay. This is the 16th. This is two days ago. What are big institutions doing? They're loading up. Look at this millions, millions of shares loading up. Okay. Only, only one person closed their position. Obviously, these people are a lot down, a, down a lot right now, but these people would not be buying unless they were bullish on the company long term. Institutions rarely do like short term swing trading the stuff, day trading. Okay. It's very rare as far as institutions go, in my opinion. Okay. Taking a look at Yahoo Finance, what does the company actually do? First thing that jumps out of you, maybe this, okay, on paper, they do have one full-time employee, but I am going to explain that. That actually is nothing to be worried about. I'm actually going to explain that. They don't actually have one employee, okay? Um, but they basically, they basically engage in ocean transportation of dry bulk cargoes worldwide. That's basically what they do. They basically transport stuff on the ocean, from point A to point B. That's essentially what they do. And these guys did get hit very hard from COVID. 
Um, this is actually really interesting, guys. Okay, I don't really know what's going on with this. This is why I check uh, Fintel.io and and Finviz when when you come to the insider ownership and and institutional. Okay, I don't know when they updated this. I don't know what this is based off of, but these are fairly reliable sources. Okay, this other information is very good. The chart is obviously you know a lot of people try to trust this site along with Fintel.io, but take it for what it is, guys. Um, but this is really interesting right here. Twenty seven percent of the shares in the flow have been sold short. These guys are going to have to cover eventually. I don't know when this was updated. I don't know if these guys have already covered, but I will be willing to bet that not all of them have covered, and there are still some of them thinking that it's going to drop more. Once these guys cover, this will be a very bullish. Uh, this will re result in bullish price a price action, in my opinion. Okay, of course, not for sure, right? This will be linked. Okay, this is a little bit of due diligence, a small amount of due diligence. Um, and the company, okay, this essentially goes over actually, well, this is a good read. Okay, this actually does go over a little bit why, uh, the vaccine and COVID, uh, recovery will be a very bullish thing and help this company a lot. Okay. Okay. On paper, this company has one full time employee. Yes. Okay. But look at this. Okay. Their workers are independent contractors. This is true. If the company had only one employee, how would it keep buying more vessels? Okay. This is actually true. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, the, you, you don't have one full-time employee <laughs> running a whole business, okay? Like a, a one as big as this one, right? Of course, that's not, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so that's pretty much what we're looking at. Okay, fact check the fact check. This is if you want. This is in the this is in the description. This will be linked. Okay, price targets for CTRM three dollars end of your bear case, five to ten dollars bull case. What are we looking at on the buy hold or sell column? Nine and a half. I'm extremely bullish on this company extremely bullish obviously i mean we're in a we're in a great buy zone in my in my opinion okay we actually just recovered a little bit um taking a look at the 10 minute chart okay we are we are you know we're trading sideways essentially that's what we're doing okay we'll see what happens at the open it will be interesting okay i would not be surprised if we see a push higher if the markets stabilize a little bit like when i say stabilize i just mean don't go down if they can just stay where they are at roughly or go up i don't i don't need them to go up if they can just chill out my positions i think will stabilize a lot but no the markets every time is what screws these plays over but we make money anyway obviously you know we're all we're, we're still up almost a thousand dollars in the week we're up six thousand dollars in three and a half months right you know what i mean okay so we're not worried uh that's our those are our price targets risk is medium in my opinion okay this is a penny stock it's going to have a little bit of risk but these are just my personal risk evaluations okay these are all considered high risk okay all of them except this one maybe this one to me is not risk not not any risk really at all um this one's low risk as well but these are all volatile stocks these can all change if you're not an experienced trader um, I do not recommend really getting really buying into this stuff, okay? Because you are going to panic sell unless you're just getting into it and you've learned a lot and you think you're ready and you've done paper trading. You know what it's like to be in the red. Then I'd say you're ready to start getting in these stocks and start making insane gains like this. Okay, my whole account history, by the way. Let's just show it real quick because no other YouTuber, literally none of them, show you this. Okay, that's my entire account history with Weeble. This is my main account. Um, I have used other brokers in, in the past. Okay. Of course I, I have not been trading only for three and a half months. Right. But, uh, this is since I started using Weeble, this is my account history. That's what we're looking at as far as current positions, relevant information in regards to the title has finished. Now feel free to click off my friends. If you have more important things to do, extra useful information for beginners, especially these are the three top YouTubers, uh, excluding me. Uh, number one, as far as accuracy, in my opinion, okay, don't get mad if the, if you don't agree or if you hate some of these guys or if your favorite person is not on here, don't get mad. Okay. This is just my opinion. I've been watching these guys for a long time. I've been around this for a while, but take my, you know, don't trust me if you don't want to. Okay. Okay. I've been wrong. Okay. I've been wrong. Obviously we've already have five out of seven of these price targets that i've hit but i can always be wrong okay i can always be wrong and no and i can make mistakes also the second point i've always made mistakes but this guy is the, is the best as far as accuracy in my opinion this guy is the best as far as transparency and this guy is the second best as far as accuracy but again none of these guys show you their account history okay none of them okay it trades trades i believe he shows how he's doing and his positions but he don't no one shows you their account history that's a it's so i don't know why they don't do it I, there's only one reason why they wouldn't but i i don't know i don't know be careful in the comments bitcoin bots are here what does my name actually mean uh, conducive to succeed, unfavorable or unpopular opinion. That's what it means. I truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Thank you all so much. Please do not hesitate to call me out on something. If I'm missing something in the chart, fundamentals, anywhere else, use several brokers.
a lot of advantages to, th advantages to this. Bubble stocks you own on Reddit and Twitter. One advantage to several brokers is you will get free stocks if you sign up with Webull. If you not, you not, if you do not already have an account, uh, free market after hours trading with Webull. Also, coming with stocks that I need to cover next. Open a Roth IRA. Webull offers this as well. Um, comment any questions, I will answer them. And success will not change this channel's business model. I'm always to the point, straight to the point. No asking for likes, subs, or putting ads on in the relevant part of the video. This part of the video, I consider you are basically at my mercy if you are still watching at this point. Um, but you can basically support the channel and directly uh, impact this becoming this business model that I'm highlighting right now. N none of this stuff. Uh, that is, you're basically contributing to that becoming the new YouTube standard. Um, obviously a lot would have to happen. We would have to have insane growth, start having a lot more following, right? To actually get noticed and start stealing viewers from the people who do this stuff and waste the people's time. I am not going to waste the people's time. That is why our business model is so conducive. That is why, that is why we're going to make it huge pretty soon in my opinion, but we will see. Thank you all so much. I will see you on the next one.